Hello YouTube people, sorry for spamming your subscriptions inbox lately but I just come up with one idea and I just really want to show you how it looks like. I don't know how I haven't come up with this idea when I was doing the review of this Casio 158, hold on a second, 158 or 159? It's 159 and I put it on F91W strap. <laughs> I mean it looks kind of a little bit better than it was looking on this golden bracelet. I mean F91W now is just destroyed. <laughs> but this looks so nice. For, for me it looks a lot better than it, than it does on its original golden bracelet. And you probably say, oh, you can buy F91W that looks just exactly like this one. I know you can't, because that F91W has matte finish yellow case, and this one is glossy finish golden case. So let's put it on the wrist, let's see. Oh, accidentally turned on the light. Let's see how it looks like. With a jacket. I even dressed up a little bit for this watch. <laughs> I'm just having some fun, really want to show you how it looks like. I mean, it looks the best when it is slightly hidden under the sleeve, like such. Hold on, I'll turn off that extra light. I really struggle to make a nice shot with artificial lights, but currently it's an, the end of October and there is simply no sunlight. No sunlight and there won't be any sunlight for several months to come, I believe. <laughs> so I better learn how to use these artificial lights. Let me zoom in a little bit. Yeah. I mean, it looks interesting. And you know what? To make this video a little bit, uh, a, a bit more fun, let's try on other watches. This <laughs> Frankenstein F91W. <laughs> let's see how it looks like on the wrist. Sorry, my cat's going crazy. Um, what, do you, what, what do you guys say? How, how, do, how do you like the look? Do your eyes hurt? <laughs> do you feel the pain in your eyes right now? <laughs> anyway, let's see how it looks like. Let's hide it a little bit under the sleeve. Let's clean off cat hair. <laughs> let's turn on. The evening light. Hmm. Nah, not for me. Not for me. You know what? Let's uh, having fun. Let's put on a golden diver watch. A PD sixteen sixty one. By the way, I love the dial of this watch. The dial, this glossy black dial, is just so nice. So nice. Let's put it. Oh my god, my cats are going crazy. Yep. A beast of a golden watch. For me, a golden diver watch is a little bit like a meme watch. I don't take this watch seriously. I put it to the same level as oversized G-Shock, to this to the same category. And putting this kind of a watch together with a jacket like this, with this kind of outfit. I don't know, I don't know, just not for me. It's not for me. Yeah, let's sit down a little bit. I don't know, I don't know. When it's half hidden under the sleeve, maybe. But it, I'm gonna stay under the sleeve because the sleeve goes under the watch actually, like like so. Yeah, so it's all gonna be like in your face. I don't know, kind of works with golden ring, but no, <laughs> not for me really, <laughs> not for me. So speaking about G-Shocks, you know what? Let's just put it on. By the way, look at the dial of this G-Shock. I like it so much. This dial is such a beautiful G-Shock. It's a shame it's so big. It's so big. I don't even know how big of a wrist you have to have for this kind of a G-Shock. Huge probably. <laughs> Huge. 
why I'm showing you this oversized G-Shock with this kind of a jacket, I don't know. But uh, what I want to say that it looks, well, this G-Shock or this Golden Diver for me is basically the same category. So putting Golden Diver with this kind of outfit for me is basically the same as putting this kind of a G-Shock. <laughs> That's just my way of thinking. Little bit crazy. Little bit, little bit, just little bit crazy, <laughs> isn't it? You know what, I have several more watches. Just as I'm dressed up a little bit, let's try on several more watches. Which one? Oh, this A168. Haven't done the review on this watch yet. Honestly, I don't really know what to say. This is, look, this is 159. And this is 168. They are basically the same watch, except 168 is a very thick, but it has this backlight, which I can't really show you right now. Hold on. No, you can't see. Never mind. Okay, let's put it on. Let's see how it looks like. I will do a review on this watch, but I just, I don't know. It just doesn't really uh, make me too happy. It's also kind of dress style watch but me personally i would prefer one five uh, nine or eight one five nine because it's slimmer this is thick i don't really need that backlight i would rather have a little bit slimmer watch but dressed up like this i would say it fits well it looks rather rather okay this kind of Look, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I actually like it. I actually like it. But don't convert to negative LCD screen. I it's just, it's just too difficult to see the time right now. Too difficult. This is the positive LCD. This is the same module. And. No, it just makes things a little bit too complicated. You know what? Let's try on my favorite watch of all times, which you all already know. This is my favorite watch. I love this watch. Let's see how it looks like with this jacket. Does it fit the theme? I mean, this is very, very cute watch. It's like the opposite side of a vulgar, opposite side of a showy off. That's what I like the best about this watch, the most. Because it's just, it's just such a sim. Um, I mean, this white dial, it just pops out, out of this black uh, strap and black case. I just love that so much. How does it look like with this jacket? Does it look funny or does it look okay? I think it looks okay. I think it looks okay. Not bad at all. This is currently my favorite watch. I wear this watch like 90% of the time. No matter what I do. I mean, I just love this watch. So slim. So simple. I mean, I just don't want to take it off. There's, there's only one problem with this watch, as with all older style casters, is that there isn't enough of a Hole, so have had actually to puncture an extra hole just to find my perfect fit but that's the only problem really I mean just look at this dial I mean how for how long uh, do I have this watch now like four months maybe four yeah four months I still enjoy it like wow wow it's like <laughs> it's still a honeymoon period for me with this watch this is just Incredible, highly recommended watch. So what else could I show you? I don't know, let's move back to this one. The one that made me to make this video. I mean, it looks nice. It looks nice. To my eyes, it looks better than with this golden bracelet. It looks, it looks nice. It looks less shouty and even though it's on this rubber strap, it looks a little bit more dressy, I would say, because it's not as loud. And this 
golden keys just pops out a little bit more and I mean hold on yeah I mean just look at this beautiful watch man Casio watches are just the size the form factor is just perfection let me zoom in a little just perfection I mean when you see only tiny bit of the watch and that shininess catches your eye I mean that's all that matters it looks wonderful and even though if you for example see the whole watch look how sprinkle sparkly it is I, a little bit struggle with this light let's turn on another one nah, it's, it's very difficult to make it sprinkly sparkly with artificial lights but like sometimes when I look at the mirror and I wrist I, and they tilt my wrist I can see each individual flat surface like sparkling up a little bit that looks just so good okay this video is probably already too long and you're getting bored so sorry for spamming your subscriptions <laughs> inbox I hope this video was a, a little bit entertaining and made your day a little bit better than it was <laughs> so anyway have a wonderful day Thank you for watching. Goodbye.